Right, we are going to draw an isometric cylinder. To start with, I'm going to use construction lines, um, and uh, we're going to do the construction in order to get the isometric cylinder. I take my ruler, and I'm going to draw a construction line. I'm drawing it in a colored green pencil over there. Once I've got that, I'm going to set a pair of compasses to the diameter of the circle that I want to use it. Okay? Note, that is a radius, but the isometric cylinder that I'm going to be drawing will have the same diameter as my radius that I'm using over here. I'm going to mark off a little point on that line, and I place the pair of compasses in at that point, and I'm going to draw a circle. I then take my pair of compasses. That circle that I just drew is a construction line circle, very, very light. I'm going to take that same radius, and I'm going to make an arc on that side and an arc on that side. I go up to the top over here. I'm going to make an arc on that side and an arc on that side. Once I've done that, I can then draw in a construction line isometric cube. Uh, no, I didn't. You can set your pair of compasses. I've got mine set at approximately 60 millimeters, uh, but you can choose whatever radius you want. There we go. Happy with that? Isometric cube, everybody knows how to do that. Right, here's the next trick. You are then going to take construction lines from this corner over here across to that corner over there. Draw a construction line going across, and that is going to give you the midpoint of this line over here. I'm then going to take a construction line going from that corner over there up to that corner over there, and that's going to give me the midpoint of that line. I'm going to then measure off that midpoint using my pair of compasses windy 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 see me winding that in until i hit the midpoint of that line once i've got that i'm going to mark that off over there and i'm going to come onto this side over here and i'm going to mark it off over there as well so i've got a midpoint of the line a midpoint of the line a midpoint of the line and a midpoint of that line See that square face over there? And I found the midpoints. Right, once I've done that, I can then take a line that is going to go from, you see this obtuse angle over here? You know what an obtuse angle is? Greater than 90 degrees. You can see that angle is greater than 90 degrees and I'm going to take a line coming from that obtuse angle down to the midpoint over there. And I'm going to take a line from that obtuse angle again, across to that midpoint of that line over there. To check my accuracy, I can draw a line which goes from this corner over here, across, and it should go perfectly through those intersections there and there. If you've got that, then you're drawing really, really accurately. Right, next step. I'm going to take my pair of compasses, I'm going to place it in at that obtuse angle, and I'm going to wind them out so that they end up, so that it ends up touching the midpoint of that line, and if I come around, it should touch the midpoint of that line. There it is, there it is. Just check. Check that it is actually doing that. If it's not, move the point of the compass and adjust it until it touches there and touches there perfectly. And once you've done that, you draw a nice dark arc. You then swing it around, place it in at the corner over there, and you draw again a nice dark arc that connects that point and that point perfectly. Right, once you've done that, you're going to then take up your pair of compasses and you're going to reset them to this very small radius over here. 
Windy, windy, windy. Check that it touches there. Check that it touches there. And draw a nice dark arc going around over there. And drop it down to that point over there. And you're going to draw a nice dark arc going around over there. Right, there's your first isometric circle. And now I want to draw a cylinder. So in other words, I need another circle to be drawn further back over here. The way that I'm going to suggest you do, do that is I'm going to take a line coming back, just a construction line coming back from these obtuse angles, going all the way back over there. And then I go to this point over here and I'm going to draw a line going all the way back over there. And I'm going to take another line from that corner, uh, that intersection over there and draw a line going all the way back over there. Right, once I've done that, I then take my pair of compasses and I decide on how long I want my cylinder to be. Extend them out. I don't mind how far you extend them out. Take that, place it at that point over there and mark it off. I'm going to call that point A over there. Take it down over here to this corner over here. There's point B. Take it down to B and mark it off. So what did I do there? I took A and I placed an A over there. B, I place a B over there. C, I'm going to mark that off over there. There is C at that intersection over there. And there's C over there. D, I'm going to place D over there. Everybody happy with those? So, A, I've got a distance going along that line. And then I go to B and I mark off B, which is the same distance. And then I go to C and I mark off that same distance. And then I go to D and I mark off that same distance. Once I've done that, I'm going to take this measurement from B to that midpoint. B to that midpoint, go and find B over here and draw a construction line arc. Go to C, get that radius over there and draw a construction line arc. Note I said construction line, not a, not a dark line, just a construction line. And I go to A with that same radius and I draw a construction line arc. Whoops, my compass is dancing around nicely. I'm not planting it properly. Note, can you see that circle at the back? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my set square, slide it up until it touches there and there. And I can draw a nice dark line going from there to there. Slide it up until it touches over there and draw a nice dark line going from there to there. And once I've done that, I can come back over here, set my pair of compasses to this radius over here, and draw a nice dark arc over there. Set my pair of compasses to this smaller radius over here. Windy, windy, windy. And darken in that little radius over there. And then, Go to that, and you should be able to draw in that little radius over there, nice and dark, and you have got a perfect cylinder. 